Alrighty, it's Friday night, and that means it's time for streaming. <clears throat> so what are we starting off this evening with? We are going to be playing Five Color Ice Dream. I decided to call it Niv's Five Color Ice Dream. I believe in a different place I put Rainbow Ribbon Ice Dream. So this is a five color control deck um, with a single copy of Niv Visit Reborn, as was the request of the great Cave Dan of the Faithless Brewing Podcast and niv Mizzet community. So this is a bit of a brew of my own, which is unusual for me, so we'll see how she goes. I took it out last night, got a 3-2 in a league, which was close to a 4-1. It could have maybe even been the 5-0, you know, hit that 5-0, you know how it is. But we could have gotten there. Um, so the big difference, so one of the things that I really enjoyed about playing niv Mizzet was Ren and Six and Teferi Time Traveler. These cards are fantastically powerful, and if you ever curve Ren and Six into Teferi, you just feel like you can never lose. So this deck has that, is not playing the Utopia Sprawls, so we're very, very light on the one slot. But we do have... Um, four copies of Field of Ruin, four copies of Fable Passage, four copies of Prismatic Vista. Cut the one lonely sandbar for this planes, so we can play the last color and get the Teferi in there. And then otherwise, the construction is generally quite similar to the four color Iceberg control list that I've been playing and having some success with in the meta. Uh, definitely a decent choice against the Grohl aggro decks. You can still, of course, get blown out in the early game, but you definitely have... Uh, a chance against a lot of the unfair decks in the format force of negation is pretty good i stole the entire match off of a neo shoal brand last night between force of negation and surgical extraction surgical extraction as a sideboard card i think is poised for a comeback uh, it's very good against uro in those sort of mid-range grindy matchups good against surgical extraction against the mystic sanctuary deck so surgical uh I, I got hit by surgical when i was playing a mystic sanctuary deck and it was certainly a tough feel in the sideboard we're playing a fairly not frequent card for modern sideboards it shows up occasionally this is wheel of sun and moon so this is a green or white and a green or white for an enchantment aura you enchant a player and it says if the card would be put into enchanted players graveyard from anywhere instead it's revealed and put on the bottom of that player's library so what this does is it turns off dredge decks and similar um and it doesn't turn off our graveyard. So this is like a Leyline of the Void that you can hardcast for two mana. So it proved to be um, quite useful last night when I hit uh, the black-green Yogmoth matchup. Uh, and then we've got Akaya Orzhov Usurper. This could even be in the main deck. Uh, I'm not entirely sure that it shouldn't be. It's a reasonable card in this meta. Again, a little bit of life gain. And then these Helixes. So through the league, I want to track um, the success rate of Drown and Lock in the main deck versus being able to have Lightning Helix in the main deck. So this is a sort of 3-for-3 three three swap. Or we could even go crazy and put Force of Negation, in, uh, all four copies of Force of Negation in the sideboard, and have the Lightning Helixes in the main Um it's just a sort of meta call of what do you want your configuration to be in game once. And I feel like having Force of Negation against the Unfair decks is very good. But then again, having Lightning Helix against the super aggressive sort of creature slash damage based decks, Burn and the like, could be very useful as well. So we'll just try to track what the meta looks like as we're going through this league. Um, we were down to three Dead of Winters, had to cut on some things to make room for the Teferi Time Ravelers, which are the only white card other than niv Mizzet that we're playing in the main deck. Uh, also cut the one Cryptic Command and the one Coligans Command. I don't love being without the Coligans Command, but Teferi, by being able to bounce enchantments and artifacts, gives us, gives us an out to a lot of different things that could hassle us in the format. So let's hop into a Modern League. And see how she goes. Is there not a challenge this weekend? Where? I guess it's the showcase challenge instead of the regular challenge. Anyway, uh, ice stream. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, did we hit? No, we didn't hit. Okay. Oh, it was showing me where my trophies were. I was wondering why the trophy list looked different. Gotta get the that. 
before the league ends in four days. Well, I'm planning on finishing it today, so, you know. All right. Join the match. Get down. Get down. So here's our mana base being a touch awkward right from the start. We're on the draw. Fairly likely to bridge into something that we can do something with here. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Can easily be punished, but as long as we draw a red source or a blue source in the next couple of turns, we'll be good. I always feel like Dead of Winter gives us a pretty decent buffer. Valakut. Okay, so this is a big mana or titan deck coming out a little slow. Tectonic Reformation. Each land card in your hand has cycling for one red. Yeah, that's a card. Okay, so we didn't hit the green or blue. Um... However, this does have Drown in the Lock live for us, and depending on what the hell my opponent's up to, we might be able to counter something with this Drown in the Lock. I, this is quite, quite the card to be playing. I'm excited to see what's going on. Going to be Dryad of the Elysian Grove here. Maybe Azusa. Or are they just cycling? Cycle, sure. Yes, good, good. You'll make it quite easy to drown your spells. Alright, we're not out of land drops yet. I think this deck might need one or two more lands. This is definitely a feeling I've had the last couple times I've played it. I wonder if they're playing some kind of crazy, like, 56 land deck. And their just plan is to get up to Valakut. So we gotta hit one of our field ruins reasonably soon. Thinderglade, yeah. Yeah, you have a Thinderglade. Explore. Sure. Life from the Loam. Oh my. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a match of Magic the Gathering, is it? Okay, so let's get a blue and drown that. Because with, uh, with the Tectonic Reformation in play, that's just too much of a game. But I think we're going to be pretty dead here in game the first. It's looking, looking not great. I haven't missed land drop yet, but we're about to. Oh, baby. Wait, life from the low means they can get their Valakut back. All right, so this is going to be able to get me green so I can play Ice Fang Quattle, which is, like, not the biggest of deals. So... But we should be able to destroy their Valakut after they've cast their life from the loam. So, got that going for us, which is okie dokie. Cycles Bloodstained Mire, sure. It's definitely going to be a Dryad of Lady's in Grove in there somewhere because that allows them to use fetch lands as a DL6 instead of a lowly lightning bolt. <laughs> Oh, there was a Valakut in there. So now they're going to have two. Two Valakuts, man. Just a mountain. It's got three land types, man. There he is. Smug bastard. 
All right, so we're going to need snap ground for next turn. Yeah, trigger. I will take take my six. Ah, uh, are we just dead? Take six, take six. We're going to go to one? No, we're going to four if they want. So let's destroy a Valkit. Get a green. But then we can't, yeah. Uh, I get Dead of Winter down the Dryad, although I think they have enough mountains in their hand to just... No, because the Valakits won't be mountains afterwards. That's fair. Okay. Oh, yeah. Interesting deck. So we're going to want all of our graveyard hate on deck for next turn, or next game. Interesting deck. All right. So green. Oh, right. Well, I guess we're at one. So almost definitely dead. Trigger. Okay. That's a land drop. Kill your dryad exceptionally dead. Right. So they have one, two, three, four, five mountains, so we're just dead. They just have to play a mountain and we lose. So they should be able to do that. Well, stumbling and fumbling with our mana, and we are, yeah, we're very dead. Well played opponent. Solid land drops over there. So this is like the modern equivalent of lands. It's kind of neat. Okay, so Ashiok seems good. Trophy seems good. Wheel might be okay. Surgical seems good. Uh, so Dead of Winter is not super important. Nile Spell Mom, there we go. Dead of Winter not super important. Teferi not... Not the greatest. Probably want the wheels. Nah, they're not that good. This is enough. I think this is enough graveyard hate. Maybe Clothis, maybe Kaya. We'll see. Ice Fang seems pretty medium. Forces are probably not great, right? Look at that cycling enchantment, but that's about it. We should probably have the wheels. Cut one drown and one snick. So in the classic mid-range fashion, we're boarding in 10 cards. I don't think Helix is very good here. Pretty happy about everything else. Oh, uh, the one lander. No. The two lander, I guess. I'm going to play Ren and Six first. If I pick up a Prismatic Vista, I can start going with Ren and Six already. I'm going to assume their burn matchup is atrocious. Yep. Yeah, it's something. That too is something. It's 
not likely they're going to cast anything, so I think I'm pretty happy to plus run in six on nothing this turn and just get that value train running. We do have Nile Spellbomb, but I don't think they're likely to do anything that I feel like I need to respond to with it. Explore, sure. They're not stumbling, are they? That's not possible. Yeah, there we go. There's no freaking way. Winding way. Choose creature or land. Reveal the top four, put all the cards of the chosen type. Foothills, Splendid Reclamation, Sheltered Thicket Bell. Okay, Splendid Reclamation. Whew! That's a card and a half, huh? Okay. So I can start fielding them here. That seems good. Get my colors fixed up a little bit. So let's do that. Yeah, I'll just go get a blue. We are rolling, rolling along here. Cycle Mountain, you got it. Cycle away, my friend. Loam, you say. What if, what if your loam drowned? I guess life from the loan would be a reason to keep the force of negations in. Maybe on the draw. What else? Sure. Fetch, okay. Crows and Grim. Destroy my spell bomb. Really? Alright. Opponent has officially waffled. We got him spooked. They dredge their loam. Nice. So do I jam my spell mom here? Feels like I should. But that leaves the life from the loam in their yard. It's gonna put eight cards in their hand, so they're gonna have to discard at end of turn anyway. So they're just going up two lands in hand. I'm probably supposed to fire this off, huh? Huh. I think I might need to draw another hate piece anyway, and this is not, not dangerous yet. So Sheltered Thicket, Wooded Foothills, and Cinder Blade. But they're going to have to discard it and stuff anyway, so it's kind of a two for one for them, but. And I do want to get rid of that loam. So, rather not lose the card draw. Science. Science is not the greatest draw. If I'm not planning on activating my field, I should probably just use the Fable Passage. This gets me closer to having infinite drowns. Bail. 
how many that's the way uh -huh. that's the way that's the way i like it uh -huh. that's the way i like it do, 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 do. that's the way i like it oh uh -huh. get out of here nerd skadoosh okay do you I want to exile their life from the loan? No. I think we're okay. Yeah. Either way, it doesn't feel great, so let's pass the turn. Falcon in their graveyard. Yeah, there it is. Well, crap. <sighs> don't have a removal spell right now. They can largely ignore my Teferi. They don't even need to care, so. Yeah, sure. I mean, they can kill him if they choose, but they don't need to. Always oh, the fetch lands. Oh, so many lightning bolts. So there's one Valakut in the graveyard, one in play. I'd like to get rid of both. But if they are clever with their life from the loan, then that's not going to be an option. I think if they loam now, I just have to fire out the spell bomb because I need to draw the card and I need to get rid of the Valakut in their graveyard. As a tectonic reformation. Yeah, it was in their hand earlier. Or it was in play uh, earlier. And game one, they just dumpstered me. We are playing against modern lands. It's kind of sick. Okay, so now they're casting loam. They want to pick up the the Valkyrie. So this is where I need to spell bomb them. Like 110%. Yeah. So they still have the loam in their graveyard, but it's the best we can do. All right, so let's play this Lieb first. Man, why you gotta be so lame? Removal spell. Removal spell. Removal spell. That's not a removal spell. All right. Um, so I can play field, crack the field, play Scions, or I can just play the Scions and try to draw the removal spell with that. Killing the Valakut just chokes their mana a little bit. And it uses up one of their land drops on only a lightning bolt. So it's probably the plan. Seismic assault. Okay. Yeah. That uh, that does not surprise me in the least. Yeah, it seems like a really, really tough matchup for us. I have no idea how we're actually supposed to beat this. I mean... Yeah, we're just not built for this. I was doing okay earlier. I had Ren, Six, and Teferi, and then they just went like Valakut, Bolt Your Thing, uh, Fetch Land, Double Bolt Your Ren, and Six. Like, it's just very, very easy for them to uh, to just fight through what we're doing here. This Royal Scions is not long for this world. 
I do have one surgical in my 75. I might want two. Realms Uncharted. Yeah. Nice gifts I'm given. Hey, baby. I heard you like maps. So click a card to put it in your graveyard. Great. Uh, so they still have the loam in their hand, so they can play two Valakids here. So we'll put Valakid in the graveyard and Stamping Ground in the graveyard. Definitely need more Surgicals for this matchup. I don't think we're going to win this one. Somehow. Somehow I am unconvinced of my ability to win this game. Oh, they're going Dome, huh? Hey, no respect for the Scions. I guess the, the, the second Valakut has two triggers, so they can easily just kill the Scions here. It's all going Dome. Huh. Yeah, all right. I guess that's one way to do it. Oh, we're probably just dead. This is a fetch land. That's another six. No, that's another 12. They have it, right? Nope. That's another fetch land. Because we're going to, what, three? Yeah, three. Okay. So you have to draw an answer for two Valakits. I mean, okay, that's an answer for one Valakit. But they still have the life from below. So it's not really even good enough. Cool, so we're just dead. Nice deck. Ah, I haven't seen that. Uh, haven't seen anyone playing that before. That's really, really, really tough for this deck to beat. Uh, we don't have anything like Blood Moon to shut off the Valakits proactively. I definitely could play something like that, but I uh, didn't seem necessary before. And it, I, I would assume that their deck has a really bad matchup against the Grull deck, but. Obviously, they can get out ahead of them with the uh, Dryad and everything. Ah, oh, stream's fine. There's um this um, Zan someone guy who started literally the exact same time as me, so I, I don't know how my how my viewer count's gonna go, but you know. on the play. I'm playing a deck with Astrolabe, but I'm not playing with Blood Moon. Oh, this one copy of Nymph. Uh, I think we can keep this. Uh, I forgot to mention during the deck tech, the most important part about Niv Mizzet in this deck is it pitches to force. I think we're going to keep against their mull. I think we need another land. I'm almost on no viewers. Yeah, no, I uh, I peeked in there, but uh... <laughs> opponent said, "Unless you're on Bant Snow, then death to you." I appreciate the cut of their jib. Yeah, I have a feeling uh, streaming on Friday nights is going to be a tough sell.
Scalding Tarn. Okay, so this has got to be Blue Moon, maybe, or one of the Teamer piles. Oh, maybe this is. Oh, it's got to be Storm. Okay. Sniv is definitely maybe pitching to uh, Force Negation. Sleight of hand. It's got to be Storm. If you're playing a combo deck, it better be Storm. Do I need to fetch here against Storm? Having the trophy up would be good, but screwing myself out of casting other spells is not, so. Goodness gracious. Er, just last night and today I've had such issues just drawing three lands. Which obviously is not enough for this deck. I want to draw four usually, so. I think I should probably be at 25 lands in the main deck. I think for the Iceberg list I would be, be likely to, uh, to go up. So we're, we're going to wait until they play a bigger spell like Gifts and Given or, or something like that. And see if we can choke them there. Electromancer. Okay. So we're definitely fetching black um, because if we rip a third land, if we rip a third snow land, we get to completely blow them out. No such luck. Brutal. All right. Um, so I could jam a trophy here if i was going to do that would i want to kill one of their creatures and ramp them or do i want to kill one of their lands and just kind of mess with their colors obviously killing one of their creatures is way better and if i draw a field of ruin my dead of winters for x2 so not the greedest of moments but here we go their hand is pretty pretty card light, so I'm not super scared. Obviously, Storm can definitely still go off from here, no problem. Morphos, sure. We gotta choke the bigger spell. Now they have a lot more resources to try to get to it. Although Remand is not gonna not gonna stop us. So that's Remand or um what is it called? Uh un unhinge, unpeel, un. So uh, return target spell or, or non-land permanent to its owner's hand. It's from one of the return to Innistrads. Good God. Okay. <laughs> I think maybe we definitely need the 24th land. We don't have Sprawl, Utopia Sprawl in here, which my opponent's also having a bit of a funny game though, so hopefully this is uh, Passing Flames. Gifts, all right, so I can let this resolve. I can let them get the Past in Flames plus one other card, but that puts them up a card. So I'd, I'd rather fire this off here and, and exile and admit it. If they've got remand, we can just do it again. Go down another card. But we only go down one card on this play, which is great if they have a remand. Cool. Blue mana will keep me alive. Come on, baby. That's blue mana. Still not really able to do anything with it, but that's fine. So we could kill, we could drown their Electromancer, but I think being ready for the next gifts is better. Um, Past in Flames is obviously really good because they can flash it back, but that's the world we're gonna live in. Live and die in here. Wow, they are flooding. They have a wonderfully diversified uh, set of lands, though. Just breathe, don't touch me. Come on, 
Ooh, okay. Snack is a reasonable pickup. Bring it on, baby. Oh no, don't remand me, you jerk. You big jerk. Oh no, don't go off now. I'm vulnerable now. Oh no. It's like they play eight payoff spells. Cool, so we're dead, we got it. All right, you got like 10 sideboard cards again for this matchup. So Ashiok is pretty good. Uh, Spellbomb's good. I think Wheel of Sun and Moon we can leave out this time. Force and Surgical are good. Kaya's probably fine. Clothis might be okay. Dead of Winter is again not great. Teferi again not great. I guess he limits where and when they can spend their mana a little bit, but Ice Fang, not great. Probably Niv, not great. Tree Folk is a fast enough clock. How's our blue count? Still good. It's a little low. Ren and Six, it's not super good in this matchup. John's not phenomenal when you're boarding this much Grave Hayden, but. Then again, not all of our grave hate we have to fire off right away, so. Although most of it will want to. I think Lightning Helix is probably better than Trophy at killing their permits, although they could board an Aria of Flame, which we will want an answer for. Okay, let's try it like this. Different lands or gifts. Yes, yeah. I mean, they can, but like they had breeding pool, and normally I don't see quite the perfectly diversified set of fetches. What is up, Larynx Punch Worthy? All right, we're gonna keep this one. This one plays a lot of magic. This hand plays all the magic. We don't have any. Sp Spells that are exciting, but we definitely are going to get to play a bunch of magic. Can trip. Breading pool is for veil. Yeah, 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 for sure. But not in game ones. Yeah, I've seen uh, Russell playing that version. Playing with spice over here. Ooh, breeding pool. One tapped breeding pool. I think I definitely want the second surgical in this list and the other one. Feels like surgical's definitely been something on the on the uptick. Plus we're already playing four main deck field of ruins, so we can get Tron and the lands decks that way. Otherwise we get a pretty rough matchup there. Okay, so they're not likely to be able to go off this turn, but I can't actually play Ren and Six, so we're gonna go tap land astrolabe. And now we've got a blue card. Punchworthy, we are playing a even more wacky snow control deck of my own devising. It's goofy great fun. I assume my opponent is assuming that we have some kind of targeted discard, which we don't, which is why they're leaving up the veil that I assume they have. Um, 
get a force here, but I've got enough lands, so I don't really mind. Not um, remand. Deck is gas, by the way. Well, thank you. This is my first crack at, at brewing. Um, basically, I was I was combining the the best parts of the Niv Mizzet deck without the Niv Mizzet core and the best parts of the snow deck, which really, I mean, it just boils down to playing Teferi with Ran Six results. Okay, so this green source means they like 110% have Veil of Summer, which is going to completely crush me if I play into it. But I may not have the ability to play around it. Ashiok's a pretty good pickup. I like the comment that throwing Teferi and Ren into every deck is my thing. I didn't know of your existence uh, before I also had that be my thing, so we may have to share them, joint custody. Maybe Liliana the Veil too. I, I do not have the same affection for that Planeswalker. Don't get me wrong, she's great, but... Okay, so Ashiok cuts off gifts, and I don't have to down tick. So I don't have to give my opponent the opportunity to blow me out with the Veil. However, if they have Veil, I want the two blue cards in my hand. I can try to kill the Electromancer now. Uh, I could field the Breeding Pool. They very likely do not have a basic... Yeah, I think this is, I think this is the line I'm going to take. And then we're going to get another island. No, we're going to get another forest. Let's bail the breeding pool, and then we can move to a different phase. We can move to phase two. Ooh. I got to get up on today's podcast. All your questions about Xanman will be answered. Well, I will. You uh, you posted it a bit, bit late in terms of uh, when I'm used to uh, listening to them. I went out for my walk, and you hadn't posted it yet. Jiggy Wiggy distracted me with this nonsense constructed roulette format. Yeah, that, that looked really neat. Um, okay, let's get the field again. So they don't have a green source now. So I can trophy this Goblin Electromancer. But I've got two blue cards in hand. So I'm not super worried. Because if I ramp them... And then they no, it's it's better to kill this. It just it just is. And if we're gonna, it doesn't get rid of one of the blue cards in my hand, so let's just kill it. They do have red mana open. They could bolt it in response. Victimize combo. Yeah, that looked uh, that looked really neat. Streaming mono white devotion taxes. We should get on the same call, and I can be on my stream, and you can be on your stream, and we can talk to each other. And it's like we're hanging out next to each other on FNM. Um, Dan, we are playing the requisite Niv Mizzet. Um, so far this league, he has been pitched to force. So you know, doing doing Niv's work over here. Wow, just uh, we're on the all force channel here. Should get a conference call. We should uh, we should get this on Zoom. We'll get Cave Dan. We'll get the whole the whole brewing uh, the whole brewing world. All right, I think I want to play Ashiok this turn. I think I'm gonna kill this Spire Bluff and then go main phase two cast Ashiok because I've got double double force after that. Give it to me. Give me that stuff, that funk, that sweet, that funky stuff. Give it to me. Give me that stuff, that funk, that sweet, that funky stuff. Give it to me. Give it to me. I'm so excited that this woe is for the fact that I uh, pitched, pitched Nip to Force. Oh, if they cast gifts here. Oh, Factor Fiction. That's, yeah, that's neato. 
Okay, well done, well done. Shenanigans. Oh, that's just that's just cruel. All right, you can have spell, spell, spell. So repeal on Ashiok is going to cost three. I want them to put shenanigans in the yard because then I can play Ashiok and exile it. I know that they've got a veil in their hand they can no longer cast. So do I think they're likely to take this pile? Yeah, I think so. I think I've incentivized them enough to take pile number two because I'm leaving them the shenanigans. And they're going to be like, yeah, I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them so good because I'm getting these shenanigans. And then we are going to Ashiok mill ourselves because I have Uro in this deck and I would like to draw to Uro. Python of Nature's Wrath. Right. And I, they may be out of basics at this point. Yeah, they're out of basics. Cool. Because tonight for the first time. Oh, factor fiction piles are. Yeah, we when we were growing up, Eot Flawful was still a still a thing. Talked about in hushed whispers by the. Oh, so yeah, they they did bin, they did bin the uh, the shenanigans and the brawl just like I wanted. Um, so not necessarily the best, but like giving them three cards that are reasonable is is not not the best, but. I think double force might be enough. So we start with serum visions. That feels that feels good. Darkening, rough and tough thing. This is my life. I'm so happy factor fiction is in modern. Rearrange the sky so that each and every After the discard to hand size. Nice. Kaya. Yeah, she's a little tardy to the party, I think. Okay, so let's. I don't really want to strip right now. Where's Roy? He could put that on the quote list. Oh, Kaya's going to kill him real fast with Ashiok, huh? That's a clock, isn't it? All right, we're going to resolve that. Okay, so we'll mill them. So that'll put, what is it, 12 into exile? No, 16 into exile? Oh, I should have ticked up. No, it doesn't matter. No targets. So two turn clock, looks like. All right, works for me. Roy is in cube draft. My opponent and I drop because Cockatrice is miserable. Yeah, I I, I wasn't digging X-Mage. X-Mage had those sweet Heroes of Might and Magic style sound effects, but that wasn't, wasn't good enough for me. Repeal. So I can hard cast a force here. But that put, puts me down to one force. And we still have them on a two turn clock with what we have left. So I'll take it. If they have a remand, we can play force, then force pitch, and then force pitch again. So. Just around half past ten for the first time in history. It's gonna start raining, man. All right, strip mine. It's wasteland, I suppose, is more accurate. Wasteland, you. Uh, let's get my red. Justin Kaiser. 
so I have another field, so I don't need to play random six this turn. So we can Ashiok mill them. Kaya nothing. So this is lethal next turn, so I just need to protect protect Kaya and then we win. Cool. So I'm going to play the Astrolabe Cantrip. So you still can play Double Force. And then play through a Remand. Cool. Why don't we Exiled? Unless I Exiled some good cards. No grape shot. Okay. So if they start trying to go off this turn, I gotta choke them right away. I guess I could have knocked them off a of mana. Yeah. They didn't. Do they not understand that they're dead? I guess they probably don't. Okay. Deals damage to target player equal the number of cards in exile. Uh, if they have the Veil of Summer, they need a Mana Morphos to cast it. All right, let's kill them. Cool. <laughs> 20 you. <laughs> Okay, so opponent goofed and died. Happens to the best of us. Okay. So now on the draw. We got kind of close to starting to strip down their lands there, but right, I'll be back in one second, and then we will rock into game three here against Storm. I think I'm pretty happy with everything here. Not happy with the fact that I sideboarded out the Niv, but you know. Yeah, let's do it. Let's drop my surgical, huh? Yeah, we're definitely keeping this one. It's not great, but it's definitely definitely what we need. It's not the hand I need, but it's definitely the hand I deserve for registering this deck. Last night I started off 0, 0 02, rallied to 3 2, so tonight may shape up similarly. Let's find out. Oh boy, sure. Opponent is going hard early. All right. 
Do I force this or do I Teferi bounce it? Teferi bouncing will take a couple turns. I think I'm supposed to just force this. I'm going to force it pitching Uro or I think Uro is the worst card in the hand. Feels bad, but there's another one in my deck will be fine. So two for two here because they they ritualed into that. Yeah, we force it. Force the force out of that one. Oh, yeah, baby. You got to force that one. You got to force it right in. Probably go down to three to fairies in the main deck and go up a land in this deck. And then I don't know if I need a 25th land, but I want one. I want to have a 25th land, but I don't want less spells. How do I make this happen? What if we just cheat? Alex, how do you. I think I'm supposed to proactively field this. They just put two cards on top. Yeah, we want to field. Okay, and I'm definitely getting black here. Kaya's so good. Kaya's quite good. I won the last game off of my opponent not understanding what she do. I miss playing Kaya. I used to play her in Niv Mizzet, and uh, she was great there. They went top, top. I just got them to shuffle, and then they miss. That feels good, man. Feels good. Oh no, my other Uro. If I pitch this one, if I pitch this one to uh, to force, I won't have any left. So we're definitely not pitching Uro. Can help it. Three lands. No. Alright, are we supposed to jam snap here? Probably not. I can hit lands. Yeah, buddy! Alright. I don't feel like jamming into them right now. Esper deck not doing so hot over here. <laughs> if they play another spell this turn, no matter what it is, I'm definitely going to go... Uh, Drown. I don't, ah, damn it. I want, I want to get the snap and play and just ambush Viper them. But, ah, damn it. Alright. So, fetch first so I can have Drown up. Yeah, it sucks. Fetching white is not so bad here. Nope. 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 Stupid alphabetical. Okay. <sighs> Snappy boy. Ambush Viper. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Gonna go all the way here. One snap, snap cast a mage. Miles felt long. Yeah, so I, I took the ley lines out of the sideboard and I basically made the sideboard look a lot like the check pile decks do in in Legacy. And it hasn't it hasn't hurt so far. It's actually felt kind of good to not play things like like Leyline. Do I want to just snap off this Nile spell one for the card draw? No, probably not. It beats things in their deck. If I hit another land here, that's like another land. Draw a card. Land. 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 That's not a land. But I'm not doing anything with three mana, so I am going to play it. Okay. 
There we go. You see that? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, they're fetching. Do they have a second green source? They don't. So we've got them off of green, which is great. So this is gifts. I think I can let the gifts resolve. So this, this puts them up a card, but I'm not super worried about it. And I can put Past and Flames in their graveyard and then exile it. Electromancer, Aria, Remand, Brawl. Okay, so I think I'm putting Brawl and Electromancer in their bin. Because Aria doesn't really scare me at all. Am I supposed to let them have the remand? So, or sorry, I'm not supposed to let them have the remand. Electromancer doesn't really scare me either. Sure. Let's try like that. Should be okay. Well, let's find out. So I want to fire off this Drown in the Lock ASAP because then I'll feel a little more free to snap off this Nile Spell Bomb. And then, then we'll see where we're at. No plays. Interesting choice. Uh, discard to hand size. Nice gifts. I think my opponent's playing a little bit too scared here. I think they should have played something that turn. I don't know what, but... Okay. So you're saying they're on a one-turn clock. Actually, no, they're not. I think I'm playing. I think I'm playing Kaya here and Exile. No, Teferi. For sure we're playing Teferi, right? Because they have a do they have a remand in their hand? They don't have a remand in their hand, but I'm pretty sure I'm playing Teferi here. Time Raveler. Time Cop, you say. Factor fiction. Sure. Sure. Another Aria. So I, I want them to have the Aria. So I'll put it with the land. Shenanigans in the graveyard again. I don't really care about the shenanigans at this point. It's two mana. Let's just waste their time. I think they'll take the top pile. They already have an Aria. So maybe they take the bottom pile. Yeah, I think I'm okay with this.
Snappy Boy is really going all the way. Put Arya Flame in Scalding Turn. Okay, so they took the rituals. Interesting. And the shenanigans, which I'm not too worried about. So I probably need to go after the the rituals here when they start. Electromancer. It's like a ritual, but better. So we'll counter that. They can't respond to anything. So if we let that resolve, they can play two rituals, and then I have to counter both. They still have a land drop. We can get them to burn a lot of resources before before they play the Aria, but letting the Electromancer resolve gets them to burn more of those resources. Killing or countering the Electromancer makes it harder for them to do that. Yeah, I think this chokes their mana the most. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of really good quotes. And this frees up my spell bomb. I know you have a land in your hand. Well, that's a little little bit of a jerk move, huh? Probably supposed to just fire this off. It means if I draw a Snapcaster, I kind of get screwed, but... Eh, sure. Nope. Take. Well, they didn't take the land. That's right. No, I goofed. Huh. Interesting. So I can get. I can draw three cards this turn, which is sick. The snowman quote. Uh, the snowman quote is more recent. I, I couldn't tell you exactly. I, I think it's like the quotes go up to like 20 something now. So We're down to a single force, so let's hope it's enough. Force plus Deferi in play. Let's see if that'll do. Okay. So this should be should be good. Uh oh. Uh, if you type exclamation point quote list, uh, you should get them all. That's uh, Roy's hack, because then he can uh, 
he can see them all and then uh, he can just pull up the ones that he wants when he wants them. Okay. Storm. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> sure is a Snapcaster Mage. That'll be great next turn. So we just need to save the force of negation from something that kills me. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven and fifteen are both uh, snowman quotes. Twenty-seven and fifteen. Yeah. Ritual first. Yep. Factor fiction. Yep. So pith or everything else. Because they straight up can't play the veil. So this is another ritual. So they did play a land this turn. But I think if I force this here, it's just over. Um, this doesn't net the mana, so I'm going to let it resolve. I guess they could snap off Grape Shot now for four. I think it's four. We we haven't seen a storm card, so the storm count's not up yet. Uh, one, two, three, four. Shoot. Okay. So if I, eh, I could just let this resolve. I have a snap to kill them anyway. We got there against Storm.
Ooh, SCJ. Okie dokie. Are we going to have fun with this hand? We are not. SCJ lost the die roll, so we are on the play. This is more keepable. We're going to pitch this for us and then try to ride this out. We got a trophy and a whole lot of nothing. We'll just, we'll just draw spectacularly, as we are wont to do. I think SCJ is uh, someone from the thing? Maybe not. SCJ. <laughs> I like my quote list. Okay. So, cracking this fabled passage for black, the only thing that stops me from playing within the next couple turns is going to be red and six. SCJ. SCJ is on probably Team Urza, which is not a great matchup for us. Maybe that's where it's at. Love, maybe that's where it's at. Okay. So, Passage for Red. I guess we have all our, all our basics. <laughs> It's not going to feel good, but, oops, yeah, I was supposed to fire that off. Oh, well, uh, so I can't use this field. Yeah, I've completely screwed myself here. Super, super duper. Got to get used to using this button. They're going to snake here, right? They got a snake. Yeah. Huh? No snake. Don't to ferry me. Well, yeah, that's, yeah, sure. Now it's your astrolabe. Actually, that put them on eight cards in hand. And probably just plus the to ferry. Yeah. All right. Okay. I mean, that's what I'm playing, right? Yeah, 10 out of 10. Oh, but they've got forces. Well, cool. What is that? Main deck Ashiok. Sure. Wow. That's just rude. Get the heck out of here. Yeah, to very five, we're just toast. It's a tough, tough early game here. Yeah, all right, I'm done with this game. Horribly missequenced my early game. We're not coming back from that. What a silly game of magic we have, right? All right. So Helix is probably pretty good here. Clothis is definitely okay. Well, we'll see. Surgical's good. The Wraths are not. Extra Force is good. 
Nick can be okay. It's a lot of card draw. Um, Snake is probably less than great. And Chief Folk? Yeah, Chief Folk doesn't draw cards. In this matchup, that's worse than everything else. Okay. It was a silly, silly game of Magic the Gathering there. Barely, barely qualified. Definitely need Ren and Six in the early game if we can get it. Probably supposed to have this Kaya in. Eh, too late now. Uh, yes, I would. Not good enough. Jeez, our colors just pounding us in these games. Okay. At least my opponent's deck is not being super cooperative. Okay. something. Naked snap. So, not, well I guess I can hard cast force negation. So I don't yeah, that's fine. This says they have a very weak hand. Which I'm okay with. Okay. They roid me. Let's go get a green. Yeah, that's fine. Astrolabe is nice. So we're going to try to resolve Ren 6 next turn. So we want Ice Fang this turn. Block the snap, we'll go up a card, which will be possibly nice. EOT fetch into nothing. I like it. So we only have one mana left after this, so we'll just take the two. No, I was supposed to play the Ice Fang there. But I want to fire off this. I guess it didn't really matter. Yep. Okay, uh, let's get the red.
like this. Why are, why are they going so slowly? Don't do it. Don't do it. Have a heart. What do you got, nerd? Do do do. Do do do. But do 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 do. Drown in the lock. It's got a much more, much more theatrical name than Manalik. Manalik should not be allowed to defeat that. Jeez, that's that's a beating, huh? Totally you know. Yep. Well, no land drops for me. Understood. Okay. Well, please play to fairy five. A row. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I would really, really like to draw. Goodness gracious, they just have all of the things. Whew. Land, please. Land, please. Good lord. No. All right. I guess we're just gonna gonna peter out and die here. Ah, oh, boy. That's a toughie. Yeah. Take my two. Maybe they don't have a. Damn it. That's an arrow. Shoot. Damn, and they got a blue source in off of it. All right, well, uh, we can play Teferi with Drown back up. Drown for one. Crap. Well, that's where we're at. Get out of here, Earl. Skadoosh. All right. So, and hopefully they will crack this Misty Rainforest. They did. Good. That means I can kill their snap. And prevent this arrow from getting through. Yep. Results. Giving them more Earl plays was obviously less than great, but that's where we are. But if we get this Jace down next turn, we're going to be in an okay spot, so get out of here, nerd. Almost like some card parity here. So we've blanked a good chunk of their deck by having... Having to ferry in play. Hold on, hold on. Ooh, please no, please no, please no, please no, please no. Okay, good. <sighs> Two is not a good key to press accidentally. I'm gonna put two to fairies on top. I definitely want to keep a, a backup to fairy, so. Nothing to play on that turn. Not, not about that bluffing life. All right, so they've just got like a bunch of reactive stuff in hand. Okay, so shuffle, brainstorm. To fairy on top again. Plus, that's the turn. Cool. So I'm going to play this field. Brainstorm. I always want to keep my mana open, because if they field my field, I want to be able to get them back. 
It's my Ashiok. There goes your Uro. And I got Force of Negation. Cool. Good stuff. Yeah, they tap their... Yeah. <laughs> what a stupid game. Whoever reveal, whoever resolves the first uh, Teferi 3 just wins. Which makes me think I should have the Helixes in, but... Okay, I, d I do want the Kaya in here. I probably want the extra Ice Fang. Jace ended up being kind of fire there. It seems like it could be bad because it's... Ah, but if it resolves, you draw so many cards. Kaya can win the game, but... Well, she's probably better than Clothus in this matchup because the life gain is not super relevant, but the killing them off the exile seems really good. Again, I don't really want to go down this chase. Surgical seems like it could be such a bad card. Like, it's obviously good, but it's a tricky, tricky one. First Surgical is probably better than the fourth Ice Fang, but we'll see. I'd cut surgical. Yeah, you're probably right, Dan. It's just really good to knock out their arrows. Well, <laughs> this is a hand, huh? Okay, they started on seven. Jeez. So we need to draw an untapped land to be able to play our Teferi on three. And if they've already played their Teferi on three, we're going to be in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. I think I'm supposed to toss this one back. Keep? All right. Cave Dan wants to keep. We're going to keep. Opponent leads on a chap land, and that is decent news for the home team here in game number three. Oh, that was yield through this turn. That is not what I meant to hit. But we got the untapped land for next turn, so we can play the Teferi. So we want to fetch blue-white here. Uh, yes. Ambush Viper resolves. Are they gonna roy me again? Is this 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 person is very good. They have yeah excellent sequencing. Shoot. Yep. My tapped island. Here is my tapped planes. Beautiful thing about being in chat is I could just drive by to give some highly suspect advice and go back to cooking dinner. <laughs> I made, what was it, a Greek, it was like a Greek slash Italian dish tonight that was really good. My uh, my grandmother ordered um, HelloFresh, which is like a meal delivery deal where they send you the ingredients and then you then you cook stuff yourself. So the fairy doesn't resolve, we're kind of just screwed here, but God bless it. All right, so we can trophy it next turn, so that's our, and then we can snap trophy at the turn after that. So we'll see if we are allowed to play magic here. The chance my opponent is saying you're not allowed to play magic here. Please plus your Teferi. Please plus your Teferi. Damn it. Damn it, that's so good. Okay. 
Because next time, next turn they can snap force. Opponent knows what this game is about. Yeah, we gotta snap this off. Try to get him. Come on, please, please resolve. Come on, baby. Because there's no, there's no coming back if it doesn't. This is, this is, this is. We are in trouble. <laughs> All right. They put the snap back. Sure. They must have a fire hand to just be like, yeah, I'll just put snap out again. Okay. So I can play pay for a melee here. Okay, if this goes through, we might have a game. Jeez, second veto. Good lord. Okay, can I play Uro here? Is that a thing I can afford to do? Yes, because I can still snap trophy next turn. And that's already kind of the best play for next turn. Blue is the most common color in this deck, so I should be able to draw more blue. Okay. Trigger. Okay. Okay, they plussed again. That's... Oh my god! Yep, there goes my trophy. Please, please don't activate your Ashiok. Please just leave it on full. Nope. Okay. So we have one more trophy left in our deck. Uh, get out of here, nerd. Not you. Why can't I click? Uh, bam. Cool. So my field doesn't get me a land right now. So let's Ace Fang, trigger, it's maybe an okay draw, the fact that they can bounce their snap again is really good. Although that won't, that won't make it fly. They can't make their snapcaster fly. So my snick might be able to do some work. Yeah. Did I lose? They milled me, right? Yeah. Oh, they're milling me again? Oh, that's so bad. Shoot. Down an arrow. Two to fairies. And a round six. Um, Russell drafted Breach last time, and it didn't really go all that well. So, just fair warning. They must have an extra Teferi here if they're letting this go down. Not fetching the blue earlier is going to beat me up. I think i got to play out the snap. Snap no target. They can't counter this with any of the cards in their graveyard, so yeah. I was thinking. Unlikely to see a counter there. Lost our second swamp, and we've lost an astrolabe. Lost one of the islands. We've been kind of lucky so far, but. Eggs. Yeah. I think I think whatever you draft, you want to have something that is sort of like you've got backup um backup enablers. Like I think drafting an engine's a good idea. Um, also, keep your eye out for Time Bolt. That card is ridiculous. And it kind of sneaks through the early early part of the draft a lot of the time. Lost our one Niv. 
red, red, red. Okay, that changes things a little bit. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. They're just going to snap. Um, so we can play this after combat. Just get Ashiok down to one here. They've gone up so many cards, though. We're in big trouble on that axis. Do they? Yeah, okay, cool. Snake. Oh, no! Oh, that is so bad. Because they still have the snap. Shoot. Uh, God. Yeah, this is tough. Turns out Bank Control is a really good deck. What are we at? Oh, we're at one and one. All right, we can lose one here. We can lose one here. So clearly, clearly should have brought in the Lightning Helixes. It's been uh, pretty obviously proved here. Beyond a shadow of doubt, which would prevent me from searching my library. Sure. Nice. Nice play. Uh, sure. Oh, this means I played Jace this turn? Sick. No, it doesn't. I don't have the second blue. Because I had to play the Scions. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cast this on Teferi. They probably only have one more in their deck, but let's see if it's in their hand. <laughs> Okay, so their hand is Force, Jace, Snap, Snap. Holy crap. I guess I'm not resolving my Jace. That's a probably screenshot everything, huh? Just for funsies. I guess I still have Teferis in my deck, but... My deck is going to be a little thin from here. <laughs> It's a shame they didn't have an Uro in their in their graveyard at that point. Or a Snap would have gotten them pretty good on that. I think they're gonna Ashiok me. Seems pretty likely. Yeah. Last time I drafted uh, artifact synergies, I was like mostly mono blue. I kind of barely splashed into two colors, and I had uh, Urza, Thopter Foundry, Sword. I had uh, Time Vault and Keys. Was the first combo I got. Basically, I just drafted the Time Vault, and then, and then you just go from there. And then, uh, what was the other? I had another combo. I had Painter, Servant, Grinding Stone. Grindstone? Grindstone. I wonder if they're looking for a Path to Exile here. I bet they are. Oh boy. But I know some of their hand. Uh, so the veto's on top. So if I can field them. This force might get my Jace through? No, I can't. Can't, I can't get quite enough. Jeez Louise. Oh, man, that's so, so savage. I mean, I, I have to Jace, I guess, into their force. Yeah, I think I think we're just done here. Nah, we're not. All right, let's, let's be tenacious. Let's stick it out. Um... Maybe it resolves somehow. I know they've got four snap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do so I want to give them the free shuffle? Yeah, probably. Yeah. 
Five Keller Snow versus Bant. Doesn't seem like we're gonna come out on top. Well, that's something. Snap path. Yep. Okay. I think that's my last arrow. Yeah, it is. Nope. Yeah, eggs is not an archetype I would recommend drafting. Same with um. It's similar to trying to draft as a storm. A storm, basically. Do they have another counter? The other snap? It probably is. It's a cryptic. Okay, cool. Well played. Okay, we weren't going anywhere anyway. Whew, tough one. Tough, tough, tough. When's that prelim start? Just under an hour. I won't be able to finish this lane beforehand, but I might play Iceberg. The die roll. Yes, I would. Boy, that's a tough hand. Any color that I draw really gets me going. But our our cards are really good. Let's mulligan. Okay, oh, yeah, that's a much better hand. Keep ship the chase. We got another one of those in here. Opponent Moleskins to five. All right. So finally facing the Dredge Menace, perhaps. Good thing I'm on the play. And work. Work and work. Temple Garden. Is it Devoted Druid? Ancient Stirrings. Okay. It's green, white, hardened scales. New? Green, white, Tron. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to cycle this Ice Fang, so good to sit. Stirrings again, sure. Raise his mine. Okay, two, three. Would like to find a field. Field of Ruin ran six. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I am X and O with this, with the uh, Iceberg deck against these kind of decks. So hopefully the five color version can do it. Very sure. Am I going to bounce their sphere? If I bounce my labe, it gives me the maximum shots. So I draw one, then I draw another one next turn to get the field. Okay, 
can also draw a force of negation. Lots of life draws. A lot of people tonight talking about Bant control getting banned. I don't see it happening, but... Getting red here, yeah. And I would like to draw a blue card that is not my other counter spell. Nope. Tron, activate. All right, big payoff, big payoff, huge payoff. All the mana. That is going to be, damn it, that's a lucky list. Huh? Well, we can beat that with Dead of Winter, so. It's going to suck, but we can beat that with Dead of Winter. Definitely gonna beat that with Dead of Winter. Alright. Skadoosh. Get out of here, mid. So we're gonna have to force the first threat and drown. Hopefully be able to drown the second one. I mean we're gonna snap off drown if we're able to. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. Damn it. Alright, this is Ulamog. We're in Whoa! Whoa! What is that? Uh yeah, I guess I have to let that resolve, huh? God, that makes my drought really bad. Okay, resolves. <sighs> oh, good God. They also have the Ulamog? Is it just... Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, sometimes they're just going to do that. Okay, so Trophy, Ashiok, Surgical Force, and then Ice Fangs are not the greatest, although they are blue count. Dead of Winter, definitely. Well, got to cut one for sure. Um, Teferi is pretty bad here. Oops. I think even the third one. I think I can keep one to vary, but. And then one Ice Fang. One Drown in the Lock, one Drown in the Lock. That was a really, really good draw for Tron, where we just weren't able to interact with the threats that they played. Yeah, I'm logging that one. Okay. Keep fire off the Niv. 
play Vista first. Hope that that gets me to random six. Okay, let's do it. Let's go, 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 go. Well, that's a good draw. So that means I'll eventually be able to get to Renin 6. So I want to go for green or red first. Definitely green. We're going to need this Force of Negation to sort of bridge us to. Yeah, maybe not. Forest, there it is. And then Mountain. Skidoosh. Got our nice little Jund lands in play here. Feeling feeling good. Tron player on Forest Forest. One regular and one snoo. Crack the star. Yeah, sure. No problem. I think if there's a scroll... Ooh, they cleared their green. Wow, that's brutal. They are not going to enjoy the next couple turns. Uh, well, we got a clock now. Okay. I hope they find another non-basic for next turn. For my benefit. Not for theirs. This is going to be rough for them. Fire this off. Get a blue. Alex, we're doing the thing. They got tower, sure. We're doing the thing, bud. Old five color running six, just doing our five color running six thing. Die Tron, die. That's German for the Tron, the. Um, sure, let's get another play. I think we put this tree folk into play now. Pick up, field, play field, kill the tower. And I want another green for um, either or anyway. All right. Here's my tree, folk. He's kind of mad. Here's my four mana seven seven, the big boy. Okay. <laughs> uh, this deck is great. <laughs> this deck is so great against Tron. She's 
I want this last drone in. So I guess I don't have to activate Ashiok on them. It's not particularly great. Let's maybe board out the Ice Fang. It's nice to be able to cycle, but I think I still want these two dead of winters because they can just start nailing me with a bunch of Thrag Tusks and stuff. I like the fact that Ice Fang is a cantrip, though. Uro's pretty slow. Yeah, Uro's yeah, slow. So is Jace. Jace gets me a lot more interaction. Probably just supposed to cut the niv but I would like to cast it once this league. Last league I cast it exactly once, and my opponent scooped immediately, but they would have scooped at the Tree Folk the same way. It was just that I had a card. Oh yeah, this is a keeper. It's not as good as our last one, but it's got Ashiok and it's got counters. Opponent keeps their seven? No, they go to six. Okay. Ran six. Okay. That's kind of close. Field. 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 Ah, that was the first thing I said. We went, we went, we went back. So we get to play Renin 6 into Ashiok this game, so that ain't not bad. So we just have to get through the initial Tron inning. Well, they've got double. All right. Uh, I think I'm just going to snap off this force. I don't need this to ferry, so. Skidding. Because the fact that force can get blanked against their, their threats was really rough in the other game. We get green mana here. It is our less important color. Oh, sorry. It's our, our more important color than, than red. We do not have too many red spells. It's mostly just ran and sex. I was watching um, Chase Hansen or Strifo play Legacy. Play the, uh, the challenge. And... Um, he was talking about the, the Strifo pile, which is the sort of five color deck in Legacy that he's very, very much known for playing. And uh, he's talking about if you want to get better with that deck, you basically just focus on developing your mana in the early game. I think, I think for playing the the four color version of this deck, that's definitely advice that I can that I can take and use. Okay, so we we've. we've Blanked a bunch of cards in their deck. I don't have a Drown, but I could draw one. So let's just rock with Ashiok on five. See if we blank some searches. Sphere. Yep. Crack Sphere. Yep. Blast Zone. Sure. Crank, yep. Yeah. Well, they're probably correct in being wary of Renin 6. Well, that was the best possible draw. So we'll kill Power Plant here. And they scooped. All right, two and two. We're on that burrito bubble, baby. So I did that two or three times yesterday to different Tron players. Actually, before we hit our match, our match, I'm gonna be right back. <laughs>
Alrighty. Let's roll. Just a just a moment of chair stream for y'all. Oh yeah, prelim starting in like thirty minutes now, right? I don't think there's any way I'm playing in it. Thirty six minutes? Nah, maybe we'll squeeze in. Someone's in there and names Cryptic Remand. That's great. Okay, we're snapping this one right off. This is one of the better hands we can get in the dark. Oh no. Oh no. My nemesis, my Achilles heel, the burn deck. God, we're so dead. We do have a uh, helix on the sideboard. So I think I think I'm supposed to lead on Vista and then just sit. If Goblin Guide reveals to me something that I don't want, I can shuffle. Not likely to be able to get anywhere with that. Um, and then if we can survive a little bit, might be able to get to Dead of Winter. Dead of Winter is pretty good against their creature draws. Problem is, Guide is going to put us to 16, then 14, so 6 damage burn spell on its own. Sideboard with this deck is not as well set up to beat burn as the Iceberg list is. Ooh. Oh god. It's going to be a huge blowout. So, two Goblin Guide triggers. So, one. Draw, okay. Two, also draw, good god. Way too many cards. So we're super, super dead, right? Yeah. Black, off the top. Man, that sucks. Right. And no force of negations either in the sand. Discard two cards, I believe. So field, call it trophy. These creatures are going to put us to eight. Yeah. It's assuming they cast zero spells to trigger their source fear. We're probably just dead. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even need to see it. I'll I'll let one more spell go, but this puts us to four. I have two cards in hand. Really? Okay. I'm going down to bolt range in a second, so probably super dead. Trigger. Wow. Fairy time was on top. Yeah, I don't need that. Alright, go to three. If they have any burn spell, we're just dead here. Turn three kill. Creature draws are really, really good. All right. Helix, Clothis, Kaya, Dead of Winter, Force. Seven in. Chase out. 
Maybe you don't need four Dead of Winter. Scions out. Some number of Ren 6 out. Keep two. Um, Teferi, there we go. Teferi can wreck their um, Rift Bolts, but uh, generally it's very poor. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. No, I want it to sort it now. All right, we're good. Yeah, I guess we're going to keep this. We're really far away from casting. The best thing for us to see there was fetch land into one drop. Okay, no one drop is excellent. So let's go get black. So now there's a one drop in the graveyard, so now our drown lock is somewhat live. Hopefully they don't just slam Eidolon here. Eidolon, brah. Oh, they can they can play Eidolon now. Eidolon's fine now. And our deck is like super schizophrenic. It's like, no, don't do this thing. Wait, no, do that thing. Wait, don't do this thing. Nah, do that thing. That's fine. Get out of here, nerd. All right. Feeling good about this one. Feeling good about this one. Maybe maybe we get to live a little bit. Um, knocking them off of white mana is surprisingly easy. However, since we drew that gorgeous piece of cardboard, digital cardboard, we get the green, slam the Uro. Uro gets a Fabled Passage in play. Hey, Force of the Asian ain't not bad either. So this field can get uh, red or white, and then we have Helix. The downside of this is because we don't have an Astrolabe, we have not been able to play any... Um, ooh, no play is scary. Um, we're not going to be able to play our Uro very quickly, or or our Jace. So it's I'm very tempted to get an island here, just completely forego the Lightning Helix. I think it's right. I think that's like definitely correct. Definitely, definitely, baby. Yeah, yeah. Basically means we probably shouldn't be playing Lightning Helix. You want to draw a blue card for this force. Leaving up one black doesn't get me anywhere, but maybe they will think it does. What is this? Boros Charm, Helix? Boros Charm, most likely. Sure. We're at 15. Ooh, Kidoki. Oh, I really want that forest. Okay. And Niv pitches to force again. <laughs> Probably. Yep. Jace was four mana gain three brainstorm. Seems like a pretty fair card. They shock. That's unexpected. C 
Garcia. So this game's over. Not the Rapid Ranger. Nope. We good. Alright, good game. I had this mulligan in my hand the whole time. This poor little lightning helix. Oof, that's a flood on their side. Oh, come on. Why well, I gotta scoop there on my upkeep? That's rude. Okay. Let's get a little lucky again. I think. Pretty much where I need to be. Feels like this deck could definitely use some Pillar of the Parents, but I don't really know what we'd cut for it. Maybe we just go up 24, 25 lands. Okay, this is this is fine because this has um, Astrolabe, Snap as an Ambush Viper, and then Clothus. So that might bridge us into into a win. We got to ferry to pitch to force if we pick up a force. They get a mountain, so they have advantage in hand. I don't know why they wouldn't have fired off the advantage there. Strange, very strange. I don't understand it. All right. Here comes the Swiss Spear cracking in. That's going to be good for later. Lieb. Estraleb. And. Hopefully we get to kill that next turn, otherwise we are super duper dead. Force. Alright, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Sha -la 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 -la. Apache, jump on it, jump on it, jump on it. One snappy boy, trigger. Skadoosh. Allow me to block. Ooh, got him. Nice. Uh. In the words of the great Tim the Toolman Taylor. Alright, so we're going to force that. Hopefully they're all out of gas here. Really got to force this thing. Okay. Even though my opponent made a goof. What if you didn't? Upside down, you turn the wind. Got him. Sick. Remember how I said we had to be lucky? We're getting a little lucky. Oh my god, they still have so many cards in hand. I can't cast that this turn. Cast it next turn. 
cancel this turn. This is gonna be so close. Oh my god. <sighs> Hopefully they have some two mana spells in their hand and then we'll be fine. Two mana spells are creatures. It's gotta be two mana spells. They gotta have some two mana spells in their hand. All right, it's all you. Take the wheel, opponent. Shoot. If they've got another bolt, we're just dead. Crap. Oh, no! Oh, man! Yeah, just being on the draw for two games was a little too rough there. All right, so a respectable two and three with this crazy, crazy five-color pile. One thing I would say is I feel like this is an example of us having pushed the mana too far. Uh, I think the Niv-Mizzet is nonsense in this deck. This is not a Niv-Mizzet deck. It seems like it should be really good because there's just so much value for him to grab, but... It's just not stable enough to do that. And you don't need niv it most of the time that you can cast him. The, the rest of the deck's game plan is just good enough on its own. I think I want a second Surgical Extraction, generally. Um, I don't know exactly where I went. And then these Helixes were also kind of a bit of nonsense. Um, maybe if we can make the mana more stable, then we can do that. So we're maxed out on Passages, we're maxed out on Vistas and Fields. Um, I don't... I don't think I can play Pillar in this deck, Pillar of the Parents. Um, so I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to fix, fix the mana. I could try playing Utopia Sprawl. An extra forest, maybe. So, worth coming back to. Uh, wasn't a complete garbage fire, but certainly still like the deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good. I'm just looking for ways to improve it. Like, the one of Nim Visit was super cute, but like, if I'm going to play that, I probably shouldn't play the Tree Folk. And I think the Tree Folk is really, really good. I like the Tree Folk a lot. I wish there was a way to fix this mana, but I, I, it might just be that five colors with with this base is just too much. It's just too much of a stretch. I think an extra land would help. Snow-covered forest makes sense. And then... we get that Lonely Sandbar back in here? Something like that. Or if I want to have another top end card, I liked Ashiok Dream Render for a five drop. I know she hasn't really proven herself to be very good. And again, these helixes in the sideboard were, were too much to stretch the mana. I think getting to fairies in the main deck was pretty worthwhile, as we saw in that Bant matchup. Although, again, maybe it's not worth it to stretch the mana so badly. But Wheel of Sun and Moon was also really good when I played it yesterday. So it certainly could be okay here. 25 lands makes me a lot more comfortable here, though. This was, uh, this was five color Lenny, or uh, Larynx, Larynx Punchworthy. Uh, I could jump into the prelim with uh, Iceberg. I'm pretty, pretty tempted to do that. 
Um, I've worked on the deck list a little bit, tweaking bits here and there on, on things that I think might be better. So this is the current iceberg list that I'm working with. Probably also needs the 24th land. Leyline of the Void, so you can get the wheel Leyline. No, 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 we're not playing uh, Leyline of the Void anymore. So, like, currently I'm trying to not play Leyline of the Void in these decks. See if, see if that works out. Uh, I'm going to return the cards for... Uh, <laughs> you need Helm. Yeah, Helm would be great. Um, let me see about returning my, my rented cards, and then we'll see if we're going to play anything else tonight. I think, I think there's a prelim that's about to start, and I kind of want to register in that. Um, anywho, uh, that was the five-color rainbow ribbon deck that had a Niv in it, and I think the Niv is now gone. But uh, it was certainly a blast, certainly fun to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, oh, to force a draw. Yeah, you could do that. Uh, this was quite, quite the romp. Quite the romp. Yeah, this is the version of Iceberg I've been working on. So there's this event, there's a prelim starting in 15 minutes. I'm tempted to play in it because I don't think there's a good competitive event tomorrow. A reasonable number of people hanging out in here, which is great. Yeah, you know what? I'm feeling good. This looks fun. Uh, we're going to fire up my new version of Iceberg with Ashiok 5. Do I want to do that? Do I want to tweak this list at all? So Larynx Punch worthy for your benefit. Um, this is the list I'm looking at right now. I think this one could also use a 24th land. Yeah, so Helm of Obedience and Leyline instantly. No, Helm of Obedience and Wheel on its own should should force a draw, right? Because it's a replacement effect, and the Helm is just going to keep going through their deck, and it will never stop. So I think it's just Wheel of Sun and Moon plus Helm locks the game. I think I'm going to change my stream title, and we're going to play in the, the prelim. 